What's up Geeksters, it's me Omar from Geekster Labs and today I have a sponsored review for a product that was sent to me from Subcase and this is the Subcase UB or Unicorn Beetle iPad Pro case for the 11 inch iPad Pro with support for the Apple Pencil which is very important. This case only retails for 30 bucks and it's only available in black currently. Um, so this case will definitely provide some good protection while not being maybe super hardcore or bulky like some of those other larger cases like maybe an OtterBox Defender uh, and also much cheaper than those cases. I think the OtterBox Defender retails for about 80 bucks and this one is uh, 30 so you're saving yourself 50 bucks just between those two different cases. But I'm going to give you guys some close-up looks at it and just give you guys my experience while using the UB case for my iPad Pro. So right off the bat, one of the first things you will probably notice about this case is that it does have built-in screen protection. So there is a thin uh, plastic layer that's on top of the screen. Uh, definitely doesn't feel as smooth or like the same exact texture as the glass of the iPad Pro. But uh, I definitely got used to using it after just a little bit of time and it, you definitely can't notice the difference when using the Apple Pencil. But it is very responsive to the Apple Pencil. I'll give you guys a demonstration of how that looks in just a second. All the corners and everything are really protected. Uh, it has like on the outside, this outer edge here is like a uh, TPU. Actually, it's probably either, I think it's silicone. It's probably outer edge of silicone, but this piece right here is polycarbonate. So that is just regular plastic. And the way this case pops in is it's basically the top layer here is the polycarbonate part. And so you pop, you basically go around the whole edge, take that piece out, you snap your iPad into it, and then you snug your iPad back into this case. So they're, the only backing of the case itself is this backing right here. So if you were to pop, were to pop this off completely, I don't want to take it off completely, but you can kind of see that the iPad Pro is in there. And that basically just wraps around the whole edge of it, and it was basically making sure that it snaps into place. And so that's where it gives you that good shock absorption. So all the, the corners are protected and, and uh, covered up and give you some extra durability right there. So if you were to drop it, I don't think you'd have any issues with this thing cracking. Of course, you do have an open face. I, I, it would be nice if they eventually offered a version with the flap, because I kind of just like, I like having the, the folio style flap, style cases for the iPad Pro. But it has built-in screen protection, so it's gonna protect it from at least getting scratches and such. Of course, if you were to drop this face down and there's something underneath, like a rock or something, it could still, you know, totally crack the screen. But most likely, whenever you drop your case, it's probably gonna hit the corners or the back. Or the edges so you probably be okay when, when it comes to any kind of drops so let me go ahead and give you guys some look around at the edges and tie up close uh, shots of like the buttons and ports and things all right starting at the top of the case we do have the uh, the sleep and wake button and you can feel that click when you press on it so that button is protected and blocked off so but you have a little uh, an actual mechanical button that you can press down you got the two ports here for the speakers no issues whatsoever when it comes to listening to audio and such that is totally just fine the microphone on top of, uh, on there it works as well Get to the side, we have another port here for, I believe that's another microphone. I'm not exactly sure what that port is, to be quite honest with you. But the whole side here is, is covered up, and you can see that like textured grip uh, pattern on the side right there. Get to the other edge, we have the other two grills here for the speakers, and we have a dust cover for the, uh, the lightning, or not the lightning, the um, USB Type-C port right there. So make sure to keep dust, or dirt, or any kind of stuff out of there. It's not going to be waterproof or anything, but any of the usual kind of dirt and stuff that you don't want to get into there, it's going to definitely protect that. Get to the other side, nothing on the right there except for the volume up and down buttons. And so this is, so even though it does have an opening here for the uh, the pen, which it means that the case doesn't end right here, it ends over here, but you can still feel that click and the buttons function perfectly normal and totally fine. No issues whatsoever with that. As you can see, we do have the, the spot there for the Apple Pencil. And uh, when you press on the back, let me show you the back. So there's the back piece right there. So all you have to do is press on the back to pop the pencil out like so. And the one thing that I was kind of nervous about when I noticed this case is that there's actually a piece of plastic, it's hard to show it to you. So the pencil is actually not touching the iPad because there is a piece of plastic, of you know, the plastic of the case is, is in there. But even though that plastic is there, it still charges up the pencil. So as you can see, it's charging up right there. So no issues, even though the pencil is actually not making physical contact with the iPad, there is a piece of, of the case uh, in between them, it's still going to charge it up, no issues whatsoever. We have all the ports and everything opened up right there for the uh, the camera, the proximity sensors, all those types of things, the light sensor, all that stuff is no issues whatsoever, even using Face ID. I mean, it's already unlocked right there, as you can see, it's already read my face. So nothing, nothing, uh, no problems with that right there. And it does have a nice lip on it. So if you do put a face down on a table, it's not touching the screen at all. It's pretty much raised up, as you can see. Let me see if I can get you guys a good angle. There you go. So you can kind of see like there's a, a quite a, a little bit of edge of there. 
on the side. Get to the back, we have the nothing wrong with the camera opening, everything lines up real perfectly. And uh, there's that, that slot here I showed you earlier to help you pop out the Apple Pencil. And the really cool thing is it does offer a built-in kickstand. So let me show you how that works. So you basically just pop this out and then you snap that up like that and that holds that into place. And that then allows you to put it into landscape mode. So you can kind of technically put it into portrait mode like so, but it's very easy to tip over. All you have to do is just tap it on the side and it kind of just falls over. So it's not really made to be in, in portrait mode. It's really made to be uh, in landscape mode like that to on its side. So that's a nice little kickstand there if you're on a plane or want to watch a movie or if you're drawing, you can keep your, app, your pencil up there. And that basically just snaps back into place like so. Nice and flush out of the way and that uh, kind of just gives you a nice little a kickstand there if you do want to prop it up when like watching videos and things like that. And so just to show you the sensitivity with the pencil, there's no issues when using it with the pencil. Everything is is pretty much good to go. No issues whatsoever when uh, I've noticed it while using it and sketching with it. I don't know why I did those lines. But as you can see here, it's very sensitive, does a good job. No real issues or anything with the pencil itself uh, that I noticed while playing around with it. It seems very sensitive and like I said, it does have that built-in screen protector, but you can't tell the difference when you're using a pencil because a pencil is, you know, it, not as sensitive as your finger. And it's 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 still very smooth, very slick, just like you would expect it to feel the uh, the iPad Pro screens whenever you're naturally using it. And this it is responsive, it doesn't I haven't noticed any kind of like weird spots or corners where it doesn't seem to respond or or it doesn't seem to pick up uh, your finger whenever it is moving on there. So everything, as far as that goes with the built-in screen protection is totally fine as far as what I've noticed in my testings. So guys, that is it for me. This is the Unicorn Beetle 4 from uh, Subcase. Retails for 30 bucks, available in black. I'll put a link down below in the description if you guys are interested in purchasing it. For your iPad Pro, This it's also available for the larger iPad Pro as well. This is the 11 inch, and I also have one for the, what is it, 12.9, the larger iPad Pro with the pencil. And they also have a version, if you don't have the pencil, if you just want the version with that doesn't have the slot for the pencil, those are also $30 as well and uh, available in both the large and the smaller iPad Pro sizes. So that's it for me today and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to check out some of my other videos, you can click on my two clips over there. If you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, make sure you click on my face and don't forget to ring that bell to be notified of all my new reviews as they are launched on YouTube. So I'll see you guys in the next video review.